Hey everyone, Alien Theory here with an update on a project I'm involved with, the documentary In Search of Tomorrow. This is from the makers of the horror-centric doc In Search of Darkness, and this time around the focus is on science fiction films, specifically ones from the 1980s. With Aliens being the ultimate 80s sci-fi film, naturally they came to me for some input. So I'll be interviewed, and I'm also helping spread the word. Around this time last year, they began their Kickstarter campaign, which I talked about previously, and it was very successful. But if you're familiar with In Search of Darkness, you know this is as comprehensive as it gets. We're talking over four hours in length, interviews with filmmakers and actors involved with the films, and as much insight as they can get from the fan bases as well. Right now, over 75 interviewees are involved, and plenty of interviews have been filmed. Currently, interviews with Jeanette Goldstein and Carrie Henn have been filmed, so those are a done deal. And I think there is a particular interest in Aliens based on the performance data I've seen, so there could be more. When I first announced my involvement, Carrie Hen actually wasn't even part of it yet, so I'd hope more interest and more support would result in more Aliens names contributing interviews. Not that I can really say much in case it falls through, but I know there are some wishlist names that they'd love to have aboard. So the more support it gets, the better it is, and hey, they already have me on board, so even if I'm in it for like 10 seconds saying Aliens is awesome, then cut to Carrie or whatever, I'd consider it a great honor. I'm really excited about it. I'm really thankful for those who have shown interest, and if you missed your chance the first time around, here's the final shot at the perks they have lined up. You can have your name in the credits, there's merchandise like shirts and posters, and first access to view the documentary. If you're interested, please check out the link in the description below or on the end screen for more information. If you've contributed or shown any support previously, thanks so much for your contributions and for your patience. I know it's been crazy navigating the production during a pandemic, but all things considered, everything looks to be coming together really incredibly, and it should be here soon. Currently, they are looking for a December 2021 release date. So without any further ado, here is the second trailer for In Search of Tomorrow, the definitive 80s sci-fi documentary. Keep an eye out for Newton Vasquez, and enjoy. 1980 science fiction has all of those elements that make greatness in cinema and storytelling. Buckaroo, what's up? It's an amazing period of sci-fi. There were sci-fi movies that you began to take seriously. The characters were stunning, so you can relate to it. It was very entertaining and frequently very touching. It was a fantastic experience, and I had a gas. I loved looking up into the stars and imagining what's up there. Time travel, multiple versions of yourself. A lot of those movies are really awesome. Sometimes sci-fi does reflect what's going on in society. Running Man preempted reality TV. This little movie predicted the world that we're living in right now. We, like Kirk can talk to somebody in their watch or their little phone. We thought, oh, that'll never happen. Scotty, beat me up. I just loved that stuff growing up. I like it if there's a bit of a human element. No matter where you go, there you are. You go through so many different emotions. Can you say E.T.? Jeff Bridges. He is our man. Yes, that was me in Galaxy of Terror. Blade Runner was just amazing. More human than human is our motto. Road Warrior today is more relevant than when we shot it. You can run, but you can't hide! When anybody says, which is the best Superman, they say two. Dune, Universal thought, this thing's going to be huge. What? Terminator Jim had a certain vision. I'll be back. In Predator, I was the ultimate tough guy. I ain't got time to breathe. It still plays. Vasquez, she was a soldier. She had nothing to lose. Sigourney just took care of me on set. Get away from her, you bitch! Robocop 1 is a one-off. Your move, creep. Paul Verhoeven made us care. The costume is not like this. The costume is like, like this. Laser guns, uh, lightsabers. Star Wars set the bar. The aliens, the world building. The Last Starfighter, groundbreaking CGI. Unbelievable. These guys are geniuses, you know. <laughs> it's overdrive. Gordon's alive. 
Shall we play a game? <gasps> You'll find her! That's what he does! S.D. Bliskin. Call me his name. Go back to the future! Great Scott! They're kind of cheesy. It still was like this wonderful cheese, in a way. <laughs> So many amazing sci-fi movies in a single decade. We felt so creative and we were so loose. There will never be another time like it, ever. I mean, it's all classic. You've got to look at it and be proud of it. Can't we go back to what I grew up with, which is the beauty of sci-fi and imagination? Oh my God, it's full of stars. That's the magic of sci-fi, man.